A lot of you not. I feel like Drake is like one of those old Hanna Barbera cartoon character villains. That they do all the dirty tricks in the book. And then when they still lose, they say the hero is cheating. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so. Yeah. So Drake tried to act like he wanted to take the moral high ground. Yep, that's what he did. One of the ways that he did that is he tried to make it look like Pusha T was whistling death on somebody who has a terminal illness. Uh, yeah, just listen. I'll, I'll I'll say that one more time, just so you could just it could sink in, so you could understand that absolutely every person that took the same approach to the information that Pusha T put out there wasn't thinking. So what Drake tried to do is he tried to act like Pusha T was wishing death on someone with a terminal illness. I'm just going to just go on from there because that if you don't get what I'm trying to say, how that makes no sense, whatever, nigga. So <laughs> he tried to take the more high ground. He also tried to take the more high ground by saying you know, you tried to bring my family into this. Uh, you Trump, you're my kid, my my father, my mother. Uh, it's like he's never heard a diss track. I mean, I don't know. Whatever, nigga. So, that's what he was on. He was trying to say, look, the only reason why Pusha T has a better diss track than me is because I refuse to go down in the mud with him because I'm not that type of person. I don't do things like that. Well, I remember when this beat was going on and I told everybody about how, push, uh, pardon me, about how Drake had offered $100,000 for information on Pusha T. Made a video on it. Had a couple hundred comments on it. I think it had over a thousand comments. I'm not 100% sure. But I know there were tens of tens of comments i don't know how to say i don't know how to say like there was a lot of comments but it was probably like under under 100 uh, it could have been over 100 i don't know anyway so there was lots of comments it was tens of tens of comments talking about how there's no way drake was trying to put money out there Pusha t is lying i'm lying everybody's lying drake is jesus that's basically what they were saying anyway so it seems like and i was gonna do this video like last week but i wanted to wait to see how many other people was gonna cover it first i only seen it covered a little bit uh, I, don't, I don't understand why people are glossing over this i think that this is an important thing i don't know if some of the channels are glossing over it because they might favor drake over Pusha t so they're like, oh man, we don't want to put that stuff out there to make Pusha T look good and Drake look bad. So they don't make videos on it. But whatever, nigga. Here goes a video on it. Drake did it. Drake actually, unequivocally, without a shadow of a doubt, sent people out with a bag to try to get information on Pusha T's personal life. Now, hold on. Let's just stop. One second, and then we get really further into that. But one second, let's stop. Isn't he supposed to be on the moral high ground? Isn't he supposed to be trying not to get into the mud with the pigs and the hogs or whatever the hell Jay Prince was talking about, right? Isn't he supposed to be the white knight? Isn't he? So then why would he even have a bag to be trying to do dirty, grimy shit? Why? 
please. I know there's going to be a Drake fan listening to this. They're going to still call me a liar because I don't have, they're going to say, where's the, where's the proof? The proof is on the Joe Budden podcast. If not for the fact that the audio, even though it, it, it was good on the Buttons podcast, but it didn't kind of record well for me. So I'm not even going to put it in there because it that would be stupid to put audio in that is, I've done it before and I'm not doing it. The audio don't come out good. I'll just send you the way the audio is at. I'll put the link in the description. How about that? Anyway. Drake has decided that he's going to take the more high ground, like I said, remember? And at the same time, he's also going to he's also going to put feelers out there. $100,000 worth of feelers. And he's also going to get people that can turn on Pusha to go try to find out information about him. Now, this is the funniest part. This right here is how Drake had to immediately know, I mean, in the back of his mind, that he wasn't going to get any information. Even if he didn't want to, even if he didn't want to, you know, consciously admit it. So one of the people that was out there trying to get the information for, or the only person I know about, to, let's just be clear on this, for Drake against Pusha was actually a young lady that I believe Pusha said he actually knew and kind of called this like his sister allegedly, quote unquote, somebody that was invited to like his wedding or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm not all the way 100% clear on that, but that is what he said, but I'm not 100% clear on what he meant by that because he also said it's something about a, a baby shower or some shit, but as far as I know, Pusha don't have any kids. So I'm not 100% sure on that, but what he did say that the lady wasn't invited to his wedding, I believe. So I'm thinking Drake reached out to somebody. Some people told him no, there finally was a scumbag that said, yeah. And that scumbag said, well, I don't have nothing, but I could try to get some shit. Now, when you ask somebody for dirt on somebody that is invited to something like a wedding and that they're supposed to know pretty well, and they're telling you, well, I don't got nothing on the person. There's a good chance there ain't much to have on them. <laughs> like, I don't really get into shit, but I'm pretty sure you could just bump into a nigga that know me and ask them for some dirt on me. And even if the dirt is a lie, they'll have something to say. $400,000. You get it? Anyway, so let's just fast forward a little. So they contact the individual. The individual who she actually tried to contact, just so we could be clear on this, was a uh, somebody who should have a beef with Pusha. Somebody who had a falling out with Pusha T. It was the DJ that they used to use when he was with the Clips. When the Clips was together, doing their thing. When, when, when No Malice, who used to be Malice... Prior, formerly known as as Malice, no Malice, and Pusha T was together, and they was in their group clips. The clips, their DJ, who they ended up having a falling out with, and that nigga back in Virginia. So I wouldn't even be surprised if he still has some kind of beef. But he called up Pusha and told Pusha. So you know what that tells me? That tells me a couple of things. It's one thing when your people that you fuck with respect you. All right, that's ex that's 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 expected. But it's another thing when the dude that you got beef with, real, you know what I'm saying? Y'all not trying to kill each other, nothing like that. But you got an issue with, and that nigga is respecting you enough to somebody want dirt on you and like, nah, I don't do that. That's a character thing, by the way. I don't even know homeboy name, but you, you dap it up for homeboy because that's a character thing. That's about having good character. I don't fuck with that person, but I'm not going to be about here helping you take them down. What kind of shit is that? That's a character issue. That shows you what kind of character that man has. You know what I'm saying? There's motherfuckers out here that people think have character, but they don't have character. They're just characters. This dude has character. Drake, he's a character. So they, they put push you on to all this. So I want people to stop talking about push your, I, I had somebody in the comments talking about push your bully Drake. How did push your bully Drake? 
Do you even understand how bullying work? <laughs> Do you even understand how bullying works? Drake lost. Drake took the L. Drake needs to stop going on TV and crying about it. We all lost something we wanted. We all lost things that are very precious to us. Every human being that's grown to a, a nice middle adult age has lost something that was extremely valuable to them that they feel they might not never be able to get back again. You know? For John... For, for that dude that his wife cut his schlong off, you know, it was that. For Trump, it was a nice full head of hair. And for Drake, it was his damn dignity. But the difference is, unlike Trump... Drake could get some of his damn dignity back there by just admitting, yeah, look, I took the L. I'm going to try better next time. Let me know what y'all guys think. Leave it down in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. That's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.